married, I got divorced X amount of years ago. There were instances where someone tried to get up to my apartment, if not for the front service, you know, making sure that situation didn't happen. So I appreciate everybody who works here. I'm here such a long time, just do the math. But I have to acknowledge that not just the financial economy, which you've read the papers lately, it's not going anywhere but down, unfortunately. It's not picking up. We are in a pickle. And the pickle started here a few years ago. You just went to the presentation. I don't need to be redundant to go through it. We need the money to get this place back to what it used to be. Um, we're a very big company here. Many, many associations, cooperatives, and condominiums do use services such as these. I'm very comfortable in the due diligence. The paperwork alone in my house and everyone's house could prove that. We spend hours upon hours in meetings upon meetings. There's an emotional knee-jerk reaction that people have. I had too. And I had to separate that myself and that. It took some time. And I'm comfortable that this is the right decision to make for the galaxy. We're going to get good people here. Hopefully a lot of the people will stay. They'll be interviewed by the new company. And I'm comfortable with all the due diligence that this board did that this particular company is a good company and will do, do good by us. And we will say that a million dollars a year is nothing to scoff at. Thank you. I've had the advantage of being on the board a little longer than the other new members. I've been on the board three months now. And during the three months, I first have to say that the board members have answered all the questions that I've asked and provided me with all the material that I required. There's a terrible amount of material and a terrible amount of numbers to absorb, but I've had access to all of it. I believe that the board of directors, we, the due diligence here in reviewing the situation and considering all the aspects, I believe they've been fair and reasonable in dealing with the union. The RFPs that they wrote to the companies, I believe were fairly written the company they select plan building services appears to me anyway to have the best value for the money for the galaxy. My difficulty is, I guess can be summed up, um, if you have employees and you pay them your employees, if you pay somebody else that they're employees, I think the way this is structured, the million dollar saving I don't know it will be achievable, but I think $700,000 or $600,000 or a very large amount of money can be saved. However, you can only save this money by reducing the amount of payment you give to the employees. So I think on the surface, people are going to get paid less. I also believe that the majority of employees, one way or the other, will no longer be with us. This means a retraining effort to give these people with 25 or 30 years of service. It also means this will happen every three years. I'm marginally, marginally could happen every three years. Marginally, uh, I think a system like that could work. Uh, I guess my biggest concern is we've had people with us for 25 years. Many of those people are going to be displaced. I haven't grown myself yet to believe that's what we should do. Thank you. Um, I guess I'm one of the uh, newer ones. Um, this is today. It's my first day, and um, uh, I've had the opportunity to see some of the information, which I think. Um, supported some of a position that I had even before joining the board as a regular owner. I, I realized that it wasn't something anyone wants to do, um, but it seems to be something, um, you know, because of all the financial um, issues that we have at the Galaxy, that it's something uh, that was necessary, you know, to help us get back. Um, so um, I, I don't feel I have all the data today to 
make a decision. I don't think it would be responsible of me to, to uh, raise my hand and, and, and make that decision. But I do think uh, it's, it's, uh, it's necessary. And, and one of the things I want to say, too, is um, I think this board has, has made a lot of tough decisions these past few years. Um, a lot of them unpopular, but you know I think we're better off for them. I mean, we just saw the presentations, uh, the finance presentations, not too long ago. So, um, but that's what I'm going to say. Thank you, Nancy. Any more comments? Um, I mean, I, I know everybody agrees the fact that saving the money. Is is very important. Our current situation does the numbers I've seen with economics. Uh, I've had time to look into that. Uh, it the numbers speak for themselves. The decision is a very very tough decision to make. Um, whether or not it's with the current economy, if it's the right time to make such a drastic move. I don't believe, like I said before, that I have uh, had a chance to do proper due diligence to make this decision. The, the vote is for the specific company that has been, the due diligence has been done by the previous board. And I did not have a chance to do my due diligence with respect to this specific company. I cannot um, overwhelmingly say that this is the right thing to do. Thank you, Ron. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot comment on this issue because I am the chair of this meeting. I would like to say a couple of words, but I don't I don't want to give up the chair. I would like to ask uh, for the board to vote. All those in favor of this motion? All those opposed? Abstaining? Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, let me make a statement. We appreciate your uh, opinion. It will be noted in the record. We spent a considerable amount of time investigating this issue. The process took us a good eight months, nine months. It wasn't the process which this board was running on our own. I would like to thank uh, Union Negotiating Committee, uh, Jim Blum, Ruth Olson, and, uh, and Lord Deva in helping us to continue uh, negotiate with our union in good way. Uh, it is not an easy decision to make. Uh, there are comments that it's shameful. Yes. Unfortunately, and we appreciate your comments and we appreciate your concern, and that's what we were elected here to do to make the best decision possible for the galaxy. Uh, we are taking every single step to make sure that uh, a motion will be executed, that we will negotiate the best possible contract, uh, that no employee with criminal record will be introduced to the galaxy, no employee with uh, drug problems, that uh, our employees will be given an opportunity to be interviewed. And when it comes to economics, the true story is that sometimes we have a good year, sometimes we have a bad year. Most of us uh, suffered and struggled, and I'm sure that a good representation of the Galaxy residents received less income today than four years ago. Another thing that the uh, statement that 100% of the savings will come because of the cuts in employees pay is totally uh, untrue. It's not a responsible statement. Because most of the savings, a lot of savings come from uh, auxiliary issues like uh, overtime, the budget and no reduction in services more. If we will be successful in finalizing this contract, we will have more staff here than we have now. Very simple issue. In order for us to cover for overtime, 
we always budget 20% of deficit hours. When we get out of business of managing our employees, the, the new company guarantees coverage without overtime. And as a front service, for instance, uh, don't hold me for the number, but if I recall correctly, it's 42,000 hours we have to cover. So 24 7 we'll have a doorman and we'll have concierge. In our budget, a significantly greater number because some people get sick, some people take uh, sick leave, and we have to add 20% for overtime. Uh, the new company will not, since they start significantly greater, they can substitute employees without charging us extra. We will have savings in insurance, we will have savings uh, in legal fees. And another thing, not entire uh, uh, Galaxy staff, uh, uh, a piece of the uh, Galaxy staff, the building maintenance and uh, in unit service will remain with us and will remain with the same level. Uh, it was a difficult decision to make at the beginning of this junction until uh, we convinced ourselves that we would consider this process only if the company coming in will be unionized. In other words, it was not an opinion of the union busting because three members of the union negotiating committee and some of the board members uh, seriously were involved in union issues and uh, pro-union. So the board made a conscious decision that if new company will come in, the company must provide, must be unionized, must be union, must have union. No, we rejected the lowest bidder, which provided us with at least one uh, service without union. All employees will have benefits. Uh, all employees will be interviewed. And uh, as far as salaries, we cannot tell you what it is. But again, I would like to remind, uh, remind everybody that we, everybody, I'm sure everybody, my family too, suffer because this year I made less money than last year. Um, and this is one of the uh, good things about the United States. We can uh, refocus and uh, we can find better opportunities. Uh, this will conclude our meeting. I do not have, no, I do not have any more. Uh, this is the only announcement. Uh, we would like to, if you'd like to remain, we'll answer all the questions to the extent we can. I'd like to have a motion to adjourn the business session of the meeting. I make a motion to adjourn the like business to session. Second. Session of the all those in favor? Aye. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. And now you can ask questions, please. How can what sorts of things save us money? Please, uh, yes, yes. Yes, like, yes, yes, please, you can stay, you can keep it up, please, for a while. Yes, yes, John. I'd like to address the new members of the board who want to learn about the meaning of an abstention. It really is, in my opinion, and I've studied it, an irresponsible vote. Because what you've done is you've given up your right to vote. If you had voted no, this motion would not have passed. But by abstaining, only four people carried the vote. So I'm very disappointed in this board and in your lack of understanding of the meaning of abstaining. And I applaud the new members who don't have the history to vote. And I think it takes strength to abstain, knowing that the vote might have gone away you didn't want it to go. Okay. You mentioned drug testing. Is it going to be random drug testing or just when you hire somebody? We cannot discuss this issue because it will be negotiated by our attorney. And I believe that everybody, because we do not know what existing contracts they have. The reason I asked is your proposal is. Uh, we do not know what existing contracts they have with the union and what union it will be. Uh, but this is a very important issue for us and we would like to insist that it would be every incoming employee would be drug tested. It's not random. But it may not take place because they may have existing contracts. Let me explain what I mean by random. Random means an employee is already working Understand. and they can be tested for drugs without them knowing. I believe that we can do this now with our union because if you suspect any employee of drug use, I believe we can, we can send this in. But uh, it will be addressed very, very seriously. It's premature for us to discuss because it's a matter of negotiating because we still have to negotiate contracts. Okay, I want to ask you a question regarding the mortgages. A couple of questions. If I interpreted what you properly, what you said properly, is that from now on nobody can buy at the Galaxy unless they put down 20%, because I heard 80 to 20 LTV. Uh, this applies, no, 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 no. 
this applies only to first mortgage. Our resolution did not address first mortgage.